What's going on stackers? So in this video you're going to be able to see me create a composition notebook hopefully within 10 minutes. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now like I said in this video you're going to be able to come and create with me as we hopefully create a composition notebook cover within 10 minutes. Now there's a few things I've already got set in place, like we already have a template just here where we can overlay the design. And now what do I mean by overlay the design? Well first we're going to create a pattern. If we look down here, this is a pattern that I created in a previous video, but what we essentially do is create patterns like this from graphics and then overlay it on a template just here. Now creating a template like this is actually pretty simple stuff. I don't want to make this video mega long so what I'm going to do as well is link a couple of videos or a video just there in the right hand corner where you can go through and watch a more in-depth tutorial on how I create my templates like this. Again in this video what we're going to do is be creating the pattern. So we're going to create a pattern for the composition notebook and then lay it over the top in here so we have that cover. Now first thing that I went ahead and done was go over to Canva, not Canva sorry, Creative Fabrica and I found some graphics. What I typed in was sloth clip art. Now is a sloth composition notebook going to be profitable? Who knows? This is just a niche that I pulled out of my head so you can watch me create the cover. Is it profitable? Is it not profitable? Who knows? You'll have to go and do some research. But what I did was scroll down and then I found some graphics that I really liked. I really liked these, these birthday sloth clip art set. So that's what we're going to create the book around. I've already gone ahead and also downloaded the graphics just here. If you want to check out these graphics, I will link a video. No, I will not. I will link a link down in the description below so you can come through and take a look if you choose to. So we're going to use this graphics with the template just here. We're going to create a pattern like this one and then overlay it on the top. And this could go horribly wrong or really really well. You'll have to watch the whole video to see how it turns out. So right here I've got a blank canvas. The dimensions for this I have the biggest that I can create. That's 5000 pixels by 5000. If we look on the file type let's just make sure. Yep 5000 by 5000. This is how big I like to make the designs. Now from here Let's take a look at some of these graphics and see which ones that we want to use. They're all pretty good, but obviously we're not going to use every single one. We just want a few different ones. So let's scroll back up to here. I quite like this one. So let's take that. What we're going to do is just make this a little bit smaller, like so. Move that up into the corner. Then maybe let's take another sloth. Maybe two or three sloths, it depends. Let's take this one right here. I quite like that. Let's make that smaller as well. Move that to round about there. Let's take one more sloth, potentially this one. So let's take that. What we're going to do is just flip that around as well. And then we're going to make that a little bit smaller. So let's do that one more time, like so. And we'll keep that one there. Now let's use some other graphics. Let's see what else we have here. We have lots of presents or gifts, should I say. So let's scroll back up to the top. Let's go ahead and take one of these hats. Take this. We'll move that to round about there like so. Let's take this one as well. I quite like that one. All I'm essentially doing is just taking the graphics and putting them on the page and I want to make them look good. I want to make the pattern look visually appealing. Now that comes over time with the more that you create. When you're first starting creating like patterns like this, 
it's going to take a while. It just takes a little bit of time and patience to get good at designing these types of patterns. Now let's take a few more. Let's see what we got. We got some candles. Could that work? It probably could. But let's see what else we got. Balloons. I quite like the balloons. So let's take this. Let's maybe flip that to like that. Maybe move that to round about here. And now I need to just add a few more graphics. So let's take some more. What we got here. More gifts. And then I think down here we got some really nice things like this. Let's use a couple of these. I'm going to try and keep all the graphics with blue on it because I want a blue themed book. Let's take this one. Let's move this like so to round about there. Maybe let's take this purple one as well. Make that smaller. Maybe flip that around like so. Now remember if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to create composition notebooks then click the links up in the description below. That came out completely wrong. And that's what you get for trying to talk and designing. What I meant was click up in the right hand corner to go through and watch those videos for a more in-depth tutorial. Now I'm going to keep that one there. Let's see what else we have. We have a nice little hat, another balloon, bit of tree maybe no we don't want the tree so let's scroll back up let's take this yellow I quite like that and obviously blue and yellow go well together let's make this smaller and now let's move that to round about here and I also want another one so let's just duplicate that let's move to the side I'll then have that down here in the corner so let's move this up a little bit Let's move this up a little bit more, like so. Now right here, this comes out quite a lot. Why is that? Well, I want this to fit in over here. So let's move that down a little bit more. Let's move this up a little bit as well. Now what we're going to do is drag over the top. We're going to make a little bit smaller, like so, if it will let me. There we go. Just a little bit smaller, and now I'm going to duplicate. Now I'm going to duplicate and move to the side. You see how that is almost fitting in there? That's what I want. That way it's going to be more of a seamless pattern. So if we move that over, that doesn't quite fit. So what I'm going to do is just delete this. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to move that in just a little bit more to round about there. Let's drag again. Let's duplicate. Let's move this over. And there we go. We can see it's looking a little bit better. But that looks a little bit weird with this. So what I'm going to do is just delete. I'm going to do this. I'm going to click on there. I'm going to move that in like so. So let's try that again. Let's take this. Let's duplicate. Move to the side. As we can see, that's looking better. Not quite there, so I'm going to delete. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to move that in as well, just a little bit. Let's take this little bit of cake. Move that as well to round about there. We're going to drag duplicate, move over, and there we go. That's looking better. But now, is that lined up? That would be lined up round about there. Let's just do that again. So from here, now what I want to do is take all this. We're going to duplicate. We're going to move over down to the bottom, and then we're going to move to the side, if it will let me. So right here, I want this to go up like that. So we can see those balloons are actually in the way. So let's delete this. Let's just take this one. Now let's just move this balloon up. We can keep that the same size, but I'm going to move it up just a little bit, maybe about there. So now I'm going to duplicate again, <clears throat> move over to round about there. Is that round about right? I think so. Then I'm going to duplicate again and go down to here. Move it to the side, like so. We can now see that those yellows are also in the way as well. So what I'm going to do is just take away this. We're going to take that, and we're just going to move it up ever so slightly. There we go. Now let's take that. Let's see how this works. So let's take that, duplicate, move over to round about there. Let's take this. We're going to duplicate, take down to the bottom, 
just to make sure that that's all right. There we go, so that looks better. Now, why do I duplicate, move down, and then move to the side? Well, I don't want it directly underneath. I kind of want it to look like a seamless pattern. Is this a seamless pattern? No, it's not, but it can look like it. So now, let's take this. What we're going to do is take that. We're going to make it a little bit smaller to round about there. Now we're going to duplicate, move over to the side to round about there keep that like that. Now I'm going to duplicate again and I'm also going to group. Now why am I going to group that? Well just so it makes it a little bit easier when I move over like this. Now if we move that up we can keep that there and we can see it's starting to look good. Let's duplicate this again. Let's move this over to round about there and let's duplicate one more time move that over to round about there as well. Now let's just ungroup these. We're going to ungroup. Let's take this one, we're going to ungroup. Let's take this one, we're going to ungroup. And then let's drag over everything. Now let's just make a little bit bigger, like so. Move this down as well. And bam, we have our pattern. Now, obviously, I am going to spend a lot more time creating it usually, but this is just a little quick example so you can see me create a pattern for a composition notebook. Now, what time are we at? We're at 11.26. There's a couple of minutes left, but the basic design is now done. As we can see, it was relatively quick, and you can do this with lots of different niches. Right here, we've used sloths, but you can use dogs, you can use monkeys, pineapples, anything. You can literally make a pattern out of anything. Now, just because you can, should you go ahead and do that? No, you shouldn't. You still need to make sure that there's demand over on Amazon for the type of book that you want to create. This was just pulled out of thin air, sloths, but I'm guessing there are going to be people searching for a sloth coloring book. Anyway, from here, now what I want to do is download my pattern as a transparent PNG. This transparent PNG feature is only for Canva Pro. Now, if you want to check out Canva Pro, we do have a 30-day free trial down in the description below. But from here, I'm going to click Transparent. I want PNG, and now I'm going to click Download. Now, with this pattern, I can go over to my composition notebook just here, and then upload the pattern back into Canva. Now, in fact, I actually downloaded that wrong, so let's redo that. Go back over to the design. We're going to go to Download, PNG, Transparent, and then choose the page. Because I didn't choose the page, it downloaded it as a zip file. So we want page one. Now we're going to click Done. And then we're going to click Download. So download again. Now we can go back over to here. Just give that a second to download. Let's go back over to here. And now what I can do is upload that back into Canva. I'm just going to put it into this file. So we're going to drag and drop. Give that a second to do its thing. Here's some previous composition notebooks that we created on the YouTube channel. Again, they're going to be in the videos which I've linked right there in the right hand corner. So if you want to see me designing these, go through and watch that. Now we have the pattern uploaded back into Canva. So now I'm going to click on there. I'm going to make bigger. We can see I didn't quite get it all down here, but it's not too much of an issue. We can just do that. And then we're going to make a little bit bigger. We're going to move to around about there, push to the back. And now this is where I can play around with the colors, the color on the cover. You see that if we go back over to the pattern, I did this in transparent or I made it transparent. Main reason being is because now I can play with the color of the cover to see which one suits best. So now we could keep it white, we could change this. Let's change this to a blue, which is actually in the photo colors. So let's go with, let's go with that one. I quite like that, or maybe a darker one, maybe that one. But now I can play around with this back cover as well. We could do yellow. Yellow doesn't really look good. Let's do green. We could do blue. That looks all right. But let's do a light blue. Maybe that one. So in fact, for this instance, 
it looks like white could look better. So what I'm going to do is just duplicate this. I'm going to flip this around as well. So, and then line it up like so. Now, if we push to the back, it looks pretty good. So just in over 10 minutes, we created the design for the composition notebook and then overlaid it on the template, which we have just here. This is how I create all of my composition notebooks. I have a template, which I can just overlay the patterns that I create on top, and then I have a book. Now, top tip, if you're creating niche specific composition notebooks like this, it's always a good idea to customize the interior. Now the interior, a composition notebook is a composition notebook. There's not much you can do with it, but you can have little graphics inside relevant to the front cover to make everything congruent and more unique. But there we go, that's how simple it is to create a composition notebook cover. We had the template, I found the graphics over here on Creative Fabrica, which is this one. I downloaded, uploaded them into Canva, made the pattern, and then overlaid that transparent, remember that, overlaid the transparent pattern on top of my template to create the cover. Fairly, fairly simple. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. And again, if we take a look at previous ones that I did on the channel, they all look pretty good. Now, one thing I'll note really quick, and that is about patterns. Why do I create the patterns like this and then overlay it over here on a template? Well, this way I can play around with the pattern and I can play around with color combinations. If I were to create the pattern here with a solid background, maybe a white or a black, pink, purple, whatever color it may be, I can't change that cover on the fly if I don't like that color. By doing it transparent, we can play around with the colors to find ones that we like. And because we have a pattern, we can just play around with it. So you might keep it like this, or I can make the pattern a bit more bigger like this and have it like that instead. Again, making patterns is just a hell of a lot easier way to go around creating your composition notebooks and because there's so many niches out there literally thousands there's lots of different types of patterns that you can create for your books now i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up also go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos that being said i've been paddy this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.